Hello champions and future champions. Hello chess mode family. GM Gabuzian is here with you and we are going to start our daily lesson Rook vs Pawn today. Our topic is going to be outflanking. This is something fighting against the shouldering. First of all let's take a look at this position. In order to win white needs to stop this pawn from promotion and probably bring king closer. Rook h5 check is a very logical move and king e4. Now if white is playing king e6 this is a mistake and is leading to a draw. Because a position after d4, rook h4, king e3, king e5, d3, rook h3, king e2. The idea is, by the way, that we are trying to move this king to the first rank, bring our king to e3, and make rook h1 checkmate. But after king e4, d2, rook h2 check, black is comfortably playing king e1. And the thing is, after a king e3, black is not playing d1 queen, which will be followed by rook h1 checkmate, but is playing d1 knight check, and in this case it's gonna be drawish. More about this you can learn from the daily lesson rook vs pawn, the difference of promoted pawn, which was a daily lesson previous to this one. So for this reason, after king e4 and the second move, king e6, logical move is not working. And here is the case where we are implementing outflanking, we are going king to d6, going from the other side and trying to stop the pawn. For this idea it's very important that black king is not going to be having enough time to make the shouldering from the other side. So after d4, king c5 and d3, white is on time to stop the pawn. King c4, d2 and very important rook d5 move. King is supporting the rook and pawn is under attack. So after king e3 and king c3, we are successfully catching this pawn and winning the game. So outflanking is a very useful and strong weapon in these end games. Let's go ahead to the next position. This is another situation when we are going to be looking for outflanking. But suddenly if we play rook a5 check in order to remove this king and after king e4 try to outflank this king from this side, in this case we are going to be late. Because after f3, king g5, black is on time to play f2. And the thing is that after rook a5 and king e3, our king is not on time to get to g3 square. So king g4 and king e2 is a draw. For this reason, the beginning rook a5 check trying to move this king to another square is not working. And this time we are making even a smarter outflanking. White is playing rook f8. I call this advanced outflanking. The thing is, either way, black king has to make a move and instead of having our rook on a file, we are instantly bringing it to the f file, so basically we are winning a tempo. And in this case, after king e4, king f6, king e3, white is gonna be on time to stop the pawn. So king g5, f3, king g4. And after f2, white is playing king g3. I truly enjoy this example with this rook f8. Let's now go ahead to another position. This is a test for the outflanking topic. It's white to move and we have a choice of deciding how to maneuver with our king. This will be your homework position guys and you can share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. GM Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.